It's Larry Anglisano reporting for AbWeb, an aviation consumer from the floor of the NBAA convention in Orlando, Florida. You know, you get up into the jet world and you'd better run a precise runway performance analysis, including engine out data, before hauling down a center line. Now that's a chore that's well served by a tablet app, and Aircraft Performance Group does just that with its iPreFlight app. But until now, the app has lacked flight planning capability, and that means having to run multiple programs to get both performance and planning utility. But the company's new Genesis app combines both, and that's something you won't find with most other mainstream aviation apps. Here at the show, I stopped for a demo with APG's Mike Kefflish. Today we're launching uh, iPreFlight Genesis. It's the latest upgrade to our industry-leading iPreFlight app that now adds uh, flight planning, full-function flight planning, in with our runway analysis and weight and balance services. We've gotten early feedback on the app uh, so far and it's been very, very positive. We're excited to share it with everybody at the National Business Aviation Association uh, conference and uh, general meeting here in Orlando this week. Planning and calculating all the trip data is really easy with the iPreFlight Genesis app and it's all based on a, on a trip uh, uh, metaphor. So I'll start by creating a trip and you'll see I go to the uh, trip screen. What I'm going to do is add a trip and first of all I'm going to select an aircraft. I'm going to do a uh, Cessna Citation 10. I'm going to leave uh, Seattle uh, Boeing Field and we'll go to uh, Houston and we're going to leave in a couple of hours. I'll set that up and we'll take say three passengers with us. We'll save that. So I've entered five parameters to really get the uh, the planning process started and that's all I need to, to uh, enter to really get the uh, the, the trip book uh, created. So I'm going to hit create and now what's happening uh, in the background while we're we're calculating on the app is the uh, app is running uh, numerous uh, flight plan routes, uh, determining various flight plan routes, and running the flight plans uh, against all of those. So you'll see that uh, when we get later into it here, it probably ran three dozen or so uh, flight plans in that, in that short amount of time. In addition to that, it calculated all of the runway analysis, all of the performance calculations for the departure and the arrival airport, and it made all the weight and balance calculations based on how we loaded the airplane and the, and the weights on the airplane. So after all the computations have completed, we land on the summary page. And here is uh, basically the, uh, the summary of the trip on a page. We'll, uh, we'll show the departure and arrival airports. We'll, uh, we'll show the uh, flight plan summary, including the route of flight, as well as the uh, flight particular uh, pieces of data such as the estimated time and route, the required fuel, altitude, the cruise mode, uh, that sort of thing. In the center of the uh, screen we have the runway analysis section and this will summarize the uh, engine out performance uh, criteria for the departure airport as well as the arrival airport. At the bottom of the screen we, we have the weight and balance summary as well as a high level fuel summary. We're now in the flight planning section of the app where we can get more specific information and more detailed information on the, uh, the setup of the flight plan. So again, like as in the first summary, we have an overview of the flight plan here where we restate the, the route. We show the profile, uh, including the climb, cruise, and descent uh, profile. And again, the, the fuel summary uh, on, the, on the right hand side. In addition now, we have the map where we plot the graphical route and we can overlay many pieces of data on the route, such as in the case here, we have radar, uh, we can show turbulence, uh, wind, uh, we can uh, show pilot reports on the, uh, on the map, as well as lightning and uh, SIGMET, AIRMET avoid areas. Another important feature under the flight planning section is the ability to view and change the profile that you've used for the flight. So what we see here is the altitude and speed profile that was used to calculate the current flight planning. And you can see here by the, by the highlight, the flight plan was run with max speed cruise and here's our in route time and our fuel requirement. However, if you have to change your cruise uh, mode for any particular reason or if you want to drop down in flight level, you can make that change directly from the device. And so by doing so, you can also tell immediately what the time and fuel implications will be of, of making that change. So in, in the case of, of uh, where we're at now, it's uh, 5,818 pounds of fuel. But if I were to drop down to long range cruise at flight level 410, I can save 93 pounds of fuel 
uh, but I'm going to go much slower and it's going to uh, take 51 minutes longer. So the pilot has that ability right there in the app to make those types of determinations and trade-offs. Okay, now we're on the weight and balance tab. And as you can see here, the aircraft has been uh, automatically loaded based on the number of passengers that we selected during the, the setup of the trip. And so uh, all of the, uh, the summary weights here have been determined as well as the CG calculations. And we can see that they're all in the green, which means that's a, that's a good thing uh, as it comes to uh, CG compliance. The last thing that we really need to do is indicate the amount of fuel on the airplane here. So we said our required fuel was uh, 7490. So I'm going to add some fuel. I'll just round it up to 8,000 pounds and apply that. And so now we've, we've uh, put fuel on the airplane and we've gone back and we've now recalculated all of the uh, parameters again based on that increased weight. And, and there are all the calculations that have been completed. We've gone back and re-verified the flight plan. We've double checked the runway analysis and we've finalized the weight and balance. And then we can do a final check on the weight and balance uh, summary to make sure that uh, when we look at the in-flight envelope that all of the, uh, the, the points uh, still fall within the uh, certified CG envelope. And as you can see here by the outline of the envelope and as well as the, uh, the fuel vector get, that gets displayed for the in-route burn-off, at all times our weights are, are within, the, uh, within the limits of the CG envelope. So thanks for uh, watching the demo of iPreFlight Genesis. We're very excited again to uh, release it here at MBAA this week. We're excited to get it into the hands of our customers. Uh, you can reach the app on the uh, App Store, the Apple, the Apple uh, App Store, and its introductory price is uh, $195 per tail per month for any, uh, any aircraft and unlimited usage. So thanks again for, uh, for tuning in.